Hey guys, welcome to episode 5 of my Manchester United save on YouTube. Today's game is a Capital One Cup match at home to Norwich, so as you can see just there by my lineup, it's some of the squad players who haven't been getting games this season. We're going to give them a bit of game time. See if we can get through. If we get put out, it's no big deal. The board don't really care about the Capital One Cup. So it'll be Linegard getting his first start. There'll be a first start for Fabio. Jones and Ferdinand need games. Ever has obviously been second choice to Luke Shaw, so he'll start at left back. I'm going to go with a risky midfield with Diami and Giggs. Welbeck, we'll probably give him about 45 minutes just to get some fitness up. Him, Ashley Young and Nanny will play off Chicharito. And then we're giving the likes of Ben Pearson, Michael Keane, Larnell Cole, Federico Makeda, Will Keane and Jesse Lingard. Chances from the bench just to see how they are. In this saving, just to give them a bit of first team football, we'll give Ben Pearson number 28. I say I'm not overly fussed if we lose this game. Though it would be nice to, um, you know, to see some of the young guys get a chance in the team. Just fix this so we can actually see the replays. Um, so 1 to 6 on favourites. So we do really think we're going to hammer them. They've got a first team out, so that's not too bad. Um, just finish off how we finished the last match and hopefully we can keep that up. Maybe speed this up a wee bit actually. So hopefully, you know, we can put a couple by them, get a couple of folk that run out, and um, are sorted. Should hopefully see a passage to the next round just to give the fringe players more run out, basically, because it's going to be the, the same kind of first team that will play most games. Uh, today I'm recording this video on the 8th of February, so this is just after Liverpool have emphatically destroyed Arsenal. I mean, I think they. The uh, Arsenal season is just going to completely collapse now, surely after that. And the run of fixtures they've got coming up over February and March with a double header against Bayern. They play Manchester United this Wednesday. I, mean, I think they've got Chelsea, Tottenham and Man City back to back next month. It's just, if they're going to be playing that against Liverpool, these teams will see that and they'll just operate the same kind of system. And, Destroy them essentially. I'm interested to see how Arsenal cope with Mata, Van Persie, and Rennie should all three play on Wednesday night. So it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see how the re rest of the results go today, since as I'm recording this, it's only about 20 past, so the games are all still kind of in their early stages. So so far it's still nil nil, which is a bit of a concern. Don't seem to be getting the chances. Hopefully we can make use of our width that we're actually deploying today with the likes of Nanny and Danny Welbeck playing. Not at half time, nil nil isn't the greatest result. So I'll say I'm not happy with them. I'll say we're only going to give Welbeck 45 minutes. We'll replace him with, we'll give Jesse Lingard the chance. He can play, can he play in the centre? No, so he'll stay as inside forward. We'll keep Ashley Young as an advanced playmaker. Nanny's struggling as well, so we'll put. Larnell Cole there, that means he can play there, and then we'll put Young in the right. Fabio struggling means I'm going to use all three subs at half time. I'm going to change it to an attacking formation. Let's just go for it, guys. So, hopefully, you know, we're giving a couple of youngsters a run out. Hopefully, the likes of Jesse Lingard, Larnell Cole, and Michael Keane can learn for this experience. And hopefully this can push them on the challenge for a first team berth eventually. Oh, my gigs was taking so long to go inside there. Oh, and it's a good save there by John Ruddy. So we're getting closer all over them. Just need to break down this yellow and green wall that's been put up in front of us. That's I don't know why, but it seems to be all our chances are coming through Ryan Giggs. 
So Ryan Giggs, that's a good 3-4 chances he's had there for about 20 yards. I thought it was going to be a penalty there, it's just one of the kind of highlights where like, oh no, what's happened? Ashley Young with a chance, a great lob there by Ashley Young, chips the keeper. It's a mistake there by Pasong, Ashley Young through and goal, look at that composure. If Ashley Young tried that in real life, I think it would be in way over the bar. And the crowd, it's a good finish there by Ashley. That puts us 1-0 up. If we can get a second goal to close this out. Seem to be dominating possession, all the shots. Average rating still a bit poor, being under 7. I prefer that to be all of it. 7.1 usually, I think, is a decent game we've had. It's a case now of closing this out. Alexander Tete fires wide. Referee's going to blow the whistle and a good... Well, he's going to blow us off for a free kick first. This should see us through. It's going to be one of the highlights at the end of the game. Come on, ref. It's just free kick after free kick. And there he goes. Full time whistle. Manchester United beat Norwich 1 0. Passage into the next round of the Capital One Cup, which is ideal. So that will be the end of this video guys, it was just a short video just for that Capital One Cup game just to see the reserves playing. And our next game will be a trip to St James's Park against Newcastle. So until episode 6 guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.